brothers and sisters, although we do not have the blessed great fire, our fire has begun. And as we have always done, we begin with the preparation of the candle. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, on this most sacred night in which our Lord Jesus Christ passed over from death to life, the church calls upon her sons and daughters scattered throughout the world to come together to watch and pray. If we keep the memorial of the Lord's Paschal Solemnity in this way, listening to his word and celebrating his mysteries, then we shall have the sure hope of sharing his triumph over death and living with him and God. And now, we cut over the numerals of 2020, Christ yesterday and today, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega, all time belongs to Him and all ages. To Him be the glory and the power through every age and forever, and let the church say, Amen. Amen. By his holy and glorious wounds, may Christ the Lord guard us and protect us. Amen. And now our Paschal candle has been prepared as we now go forward to begin this holy night in song and in word. Exalt, let them exalt the host of heaven. Exalt, let angels, ministers of God exalt. Let the trumpet of salvation sound aloud. Our mighty King's triumph be glad. Let the earth be glad as glory finds her ablaze with light. From here, eternal King, let all the corners of the earth be glad, knowing an end to gloom and darkness. Rejoice, let Mother Earth rejoice. Also rejoice, arrayed with the lightning of his glory. Let this holy building shake with joy. Fill with the mighty voices of the peoples. Oh. As I sing, the Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just with an ardent love of mind and heart with devoted service of our voice to acclaim our God invisible, the Almighty Father, and Jesus Christ our Lord, His Son, His only begotten Son, who for our sake paid Adam's debt to the Eternal Father, and pouring out His own dear blood, wiped clean the record of our ancient sinfulness. These are the feasts of Passover, in which the slain the lamb, the one true lamb, whose blood anoints the door, post of believers. This is the night when once you led our forebears, Israel's children, from slavery to Egypt, and made them pass through dry shot through the Red Sea. This is the night that with a pillar of fire banish the darkness of sin this is the night this is the night that even now throughout the world sets Christian believers apart from worldly vices from the gloom of sin leading them in grace and join them in his holiness oh this is the night Christ broke the prisoners of death and rose victorious from the underworld. O oh, wonder of your holy, humble care for us. O oh, love, O oh, charity, beyond all telling, to ransom a slave, you gave away your son. O oh, truly necessary son of Adam, destroyed completely the death of Christ. O oh, happy fault that earns so great, so glorious a Redeemer, the sanctifying power of this night dispels the wickedness and washes faults away, restores innocent to the fallen and joy to the mourners. Oh, truly blessed night when things of heaven are wed to things of earth and to divine to the human. On this night, your night of grace, O oh Lord, Oh, Holy Father, accept this candle, a solemn offering, the work of bees and of your service hands, an evening sacrifice of praise, this gift for your most holy church. Therefore, oh Lord, we pray you that this candle hallowed in the hollow of time may persevere undimmed to overcome the darkness of this night receive it as a pleasing fragrance and let it mingle with the lights of heaven may this flame be found still burning by the morning star the one morning star who never says Christ your son who coming back from death's dominion has shed his peaceful light on his humanity and lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. I join with the church in saying amen. Amen, 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 amen.
Dear brothers and sisters, now that we have begun our solemn vigil, let us listen with quiet hearts to the word of God. Let us meditate on how God in times past saved his people in these last days, has sent us his son as our redeemer. Let us pray that our God may complete this paschal work of redemption by the fullness of his redemption. A reading from the book of Genesis. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless wasteland and darkness covered the abyss while a mighty wind swept over the waters. Then God said, let there be light and there was light. God saw how good the light was. God then separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness he called night. Thus evening came and morning followed the first day. Then God said, let there be a dome in the middle of the waters to separate one body of water from the other. And so it happened. God made the dome and it separated the water above the dome from the water below it. God called the dome the sky. Evening came and morning followed the second day. Then God said, let the water under the sky be gathered into a basin, into a single basin, so that the dry land may appear. And so it happened. The water under the sky was gathered into its basin, and the dry land appeared. God called the dry land the earth and the basin of water he called the sea. God saw how good it was. Then God said, let the earth bring forth vegetation, every kind of plant that bears seed and every kind of fruit tree on earth that bears fruit with its seed in it. And so it happened. The earth brought forth every kind of plant that bears seed and every kind of fruit tree on the earth that bears fruit with its seeds in it. God saw how good it was. Evening came and morning followed the third day. Then God said, let there be light in the dome of the sky to separate day from night. Let them mark the fixed time, the days and the years, and serve as illuminaires in the dome of the sky to shed light upon the earth. And so it happened. God made the two great lights, the greater one to govern the day and the lesser one to govern the night. And he made the stars. God set them in the dome of the sky to shed light upon the earth, to govern the day and the night, and to separate the light from the darkness. God saw how good it was. Evening came and morning followed the fourth day. Then God said, let the waters teem with an abundance of living creatures 
and on earth let birds fly beneath the dome of the sky. And so it happened. God created the great sea monsters and all kinds of swimming creatures with which the water teems and all kinds of winged birds. God saw how good it was, and God blessed them, saying, Be fertile, multiply, and fill the waters of the sea, and let the birds multiply on earth. Evening came, and morning followed, the fifth day. Then God said, let the earth bring forth all kinds of living creatures, cattle, creeping things, and wild animals of all kinds. And so it happened. God made all kinds of wild animals, all kinds of cattle, and all kinds of creeping things of the earth. God saw how good it was. Then God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air and the cattle and over all the wild animals and all the creatures that crawl on the ground. God created man in his image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them saying, be fertile and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and all the living things that move on the earth. God also said, see, I give you every seed bearing plant all over the earth and every tree that has seed bearing fruit on it to be your food. And to all the animals of the land, all the birds of the air, and all the living creatures that crawl on the ground, I give all the green plants for food. And so it happened. God looked at everything he had made and he found it very good. Evening came and morning followed, the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth, and all their array were completed. Since on the seventh day, God was finished with the work he had been doing. He rested on the seventh day from all the work he had undertaken. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, send out your spirit. Lord, send out your spirit. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. And renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit. Lord, send out your spirit. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. And renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. 
Oh Lord my God, you are great indeed. You are clothed with majesty and glory. Robed in light as with a cloak. Lord, send out your spirit. Lord, send out your spirit. Lord, send out your spirit. And renew the face of the earth. And renew the face of the earth. You fixed the earth upon its foundation. Not to be moved forever With the ocean as with a garment you covered it Above the mountains the water stood Lord, send out your spirit Lord, send out your spirit Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth and renew the face of the earth. You send forth springs into the water courses that wind among the mountains. Beside them the birds of heaven dwell. From among the branches they send forth their song. Lord, send out your spirit. Lord, send out your spirit. Lord, send out your spirit. And renew the face of the earth. And renew the face of the earth. You water the mountains from your palace. The earth is replete with the fruit of your works. You raise grass. For the cattle and vegetation for man's use, producing bread from the earth. Lord, send out your spirit. Lord, send out your spirit. Lord, send out your spirit and renew. The face of the earth and renew the face of the earth. How manifold are your works, O oh Lord? In wisdom you have wrought them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Lord, send out your spirit. Lord, send out your spirit. Lord, send out your spirit. And renew the face of the earth. And renew. The face of the earth and renew the face of the earth. And now I thank God for Joffrey and the musicians here as you play. Let us pray, Almighty ever living God, who are wonderful in the ordering of all your works. May those you have redeemed understand that there exists nothing more marvelous than the world's creation in the beginning, except that at the end of the ages, Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, 
who lives and reigns forever and ever, and let God's people say, Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Why are you crying out to me? Tell the Israelites to go forward, and you lift up your staff, and with hand outstretched over the sea, split the sea in two, that the Israelites may pass through it on dry land. But I will make the Egyptians so upstanding that they will go in after them. Then I will receive glory from Pharaoh and all his armor, his chariots and his charioteers. The Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord. When I receive glory through Pharaoh and his chariots and charioteers, the angel of God who has been leading Israel's camp now moved and went around behind them the column of clouds also, leaving the front, took up its place behind them, so that it came between the camp of the Egyptians and that of Israel. But the cloud now became dark, and thus the night passed without the rival camps coming any closer together all night long then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord swept the sea with a strong east wind throughout the night. And so it turned into dry land. When the water was thus divided, the Israelites marched into the midst of the sea on dry land, and the waters like a wall to their right and to their left. The Egyptians followed in pursuit. All Pharaoh's horses and chariots and charioteers went after them, right into the midst of the sea. In the night watch just before dawn, the Lord cast through the column of fiery clouds upon the Egyptians' force, a glance that threw it into a panic, and he so clogged their chariot wheels, and that they could hardly drive. With that, the Egyptians sounded the retreat before Israel, because the Lord was fighting for them against the Egyptians. Then the Lord told Moses, stretch out your hand over the sea that the water may flow back upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots and their charioteers. So Moses stretched out his hand over the sea and at dawn, the sea flowed back to its normal path. The Egyptians were fleeing head on toward the sea when the Lord hurled them into its midst. As the water flowed back, it covered the chariots and the charioteers of Pharaoh's whole army, which had followed the Israelites into the sea. Not a single one of them escaped. But the Israelites had marched on dry land through the midst of the sea, with the waters like a wall to their right and to their left. Thus the Lord saved Israel on that day from the power of the Egyptians. When Israel saw the Egyptians lying dead on the seashore, and beheld the great power that the Lord had shown against the Egyptians, they feared the Lord and believed in him. 
and in his servant Moses. Then Moses and the Israelites sang this song to the Lord. I will sing to the Lord, for he is gloriously triumphant. Horse and chariot he has cast into the sea. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. I will sing to the Lord, for he is gloriously triumphant. Horse and chariot he has cast into the sea. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my savior. He is my God. I praise him, the God of my father. I extol him. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. The Lord is a warrior. Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and army he hurled into the sea. The elite of his officers were submerged in the Red Sea. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. The flood waters covered them. They sank into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, magnificent in power. Your right hand, O Lord, has shattered the enemy. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. You brought the people you brought in the people you redeemed and planted them on the mountain of your inheritance. The place where you made your seat, O Lord, the sanctuary, Lord, which your hands established, the Lord shall reign forever and ever. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. Let us sing. To the Lord, he has covered himself in glory. Let us pray. O God, whose ancient wonders remain undimmed in splendor even in our day, for what you once bestowed on a single people freeing them from Pharaoh's persecution by the power of your right hand. Now you bring about as the salvation of the nations to the waters of rebirth. Grant, we pray, that the whole world may become children of Abraham and inherit the dignity of Israel's birthright through Christ our Lord. And let the church say, A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The Lord, the word of the Lord came to me saying, Son of man, when the house of Israel lived in their land, they defied it by their conduct and deeds. Therefore, I poured out my fury on them because of the blood they had poured out on the ground. 
and because they defiled it with idols. I scattered them among the nations, dispersing them over foreign lands. According to their conducts and deeds, I judged them. But when they came among the nations, wherever they came, they served to profane my holy name. Because it was said of them, these are the people of the Lord. Yet they had to leave their land. So I have relented because of my holy name, which the house of Israel profaned among the nations where they came. Therefore, say to the house of Israel, thus says the Lord God, not for your sake do I act, house of Israel, but for the sake of my holy name, which you profane among the nations to which you came. I will prove the holiness of my great name, profaned among the nations, and those myths you have profaned it. Thus the nation shall know that I am the Lord, says the Lord God, when in their sight I prove my holiness through you. For I will take you away from among the nations, gather you from all the foreign lands, and bring you back to your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you to cleanse you from all your impurities and from all your idols, I will cleanse you. I will give you a new heart and place a new spirit within you, taking from your bodies your stony heart and giving you natural hearts. I will put my spirit within you and make you live by my statutes, careful to observe my decrees. You shall live in the land I gave your fathers. You shall be my people, and I will be your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. in me a clean heart, O oh God. Create in me a clean heart. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God. Create in me a clean heart. Create in me a clean O oh God. Create in me a clean heart. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God. heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Create in me a clean, O God. Create in me a
a clean heart. Give me back the joy of your salvation and a willing spirit sustain in me. I will teach transgressors your ways and sinners shall return to you. Create in me a clean heart, O God. Create in me a clean heart. Create in me a clean heart, O God. Create in me a clean heart. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a holocaust? You would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. Create a clean heart, O God. Create in me a clean heart. Create in me a clean heart, O God. Let us pray. O God, who by the pages of both Testaments instruct and prepare us to celebrate the Paschal Mystery, grant that we may comprehend your mercy so that the gifts we receive from you this night may confirm our hope of the gifts to come through Christ our Lord and let the church say, Amen. And now, church, if you're at home, I invite you to stand. I invite my altar servants to stand. And prepare now as the choir leads us as we glory to God in the highest. And now may the lights come on. May the altar be lit as the darkness has been dispelled. The highest and on earth keep the people of goodwill. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace the people of goodwill. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, our heavenly King, all our mighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace of people of goodwill. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth Peace the people of goodwill. We praise you. The sins of the world receive our prayer. If we at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the most high. Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace of people of goodwill. Glory, glory to God in the highest 
and on earth peace of people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. We've been waiting a long time to sing of the glory of God. And now let us pray. O oh God, who make this most sacred night radiant with the glory of the Lord's resurrection, stir up in your church a spirit of adoption so that renewed in body and mind, we may render you undivided service through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever, and let God's people say, Amen. And now, let us. Be seated as we hear the reading from the epistle, the letter of Paul. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, are you unaware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death. We were indeed buried with him through baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live in newness of life. For if we have grown into union with him through a debt like this, like his, we shall also be united with him in the resurrection. We know that our old self was crucified with him so that our sinful body might be done away with that we might no longer be in slavery to sin. For a dead person has been absolved from sin. If then we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. We know that Christ raised from the dead dies no more. Death no longer has power over him. As to his death, he died to sin once and for all. As to his life, he lives for God. Consequently, you must think of yourself as being dead to sin and living for God and Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now we proclaim the gospel hallelujah as we have waited 40 days proclaim the hallelujah that only the Easter morning can bring. So I invite you to sing at home with the choir. Hallelujah Salvation and glory Honor and power unto the Lord our God For the Lord our God is mighty Yes, the Lord, our God, is omnipotent. The Lord, our God, He is wonderful. Hallelujah to the King 
My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. With your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory Glory to you, Lord. Lord. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven, approached, rolled back the stone, and sat upon it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing was white as snow. The guards were shaken with fear of him and became like dead men. And the angel said to the woman in reply, Do not be afraid. I know that you are seeking Jesus the crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, He has been raised from the dead. And is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him. Behold, I have told you. Then they went away quickly from the tomb, fearful yet overjoyed, and ran to announce this to his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them on their way and greeted them. They approached, embraced his feet, and did him homage. And Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go tell my brothers, to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. You may be seated. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go to our dear mother, the one who was there when they told the news and was not surprised. And so we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Brothers and sisters, it's uh, one of the challenges of a priest like myself that don't know how to shut up. <laughs> On a night where the readings are long. <laughs> On a night where people were like, all right now, we got the word that I'm very tempted uh, to uh, do what the usual is, but I'm going to uh, give way to, to prudence. You know, I don't want to be, you know, asked to leave. <laughs> Listen, I don't know about you, but when we got some folks that want to get baptized, I feel like dancing. Yeah, all right. Yeah. And you want to ask me what kind of dance am I doing? Some people know that you could do all kinds of dances. Like, anybody here remember the Macarena? And then, some of y'all remember back in the day, you used to do dances like, even when you had skates on, you were like, bounce, roll, and then some of y'all used to have this dance, and, and I, I was just a little boy, but y'all used to do the shuffle. Dun, 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 dun. They'd be doing the shuffle, and then, and then y'all, had, yeah, y'all had the bump. Be knocking people. I just remember my aunt's hips just knocking me down. Lord have mercy. But the dance that I'm talking about is not the kind of dance you got to worry about where your feet are. Because Jesus did a dance when he rose up from the grave 
Because the devil thought that he had won, and Jesus started dancing all over his head. He started looking at him going, ah, you thought you had me. Get down. Get out of here. See, the reason why some of y'all don't know that dance, because you be letting the devil dance with you. You be acting like, hey, good partner. And after a while, it looked good. Somebody here know what I'm talking about? Sin feels good. Come on now. Be real up there at home. You know sin be feeling good. Oh, yeah. You be like, oh, no. I'm holy, please. Whatever. You be like, dance with the devil. Hey. Ah. And then when the evil gets you, it gets you good. Because it look good and it feel good, but it ain't good. And then, next thing you know, you realize you're just as terrible as you were before you started. Now it's time for you to say, devil, I don't need you to be a partner no more. I'm going to dance upon your head. And I'm going to let you know, stay down and keep down. And some of you may wonder, why is this important? Because right now, there's a lot of people that just want to have an Easter vigil just to do a ritual. Somebody want to be up in here because they got good clothes on. Somebody here know that if it was not for Christ, you couldn't have no Easter outfit. Without the Lord doing the work first, you wouldn't be able to stand up on an Easter Sunday and say, I'll rise with you. The reason why you're so glad you can rise. Oh, I'm talking to somebody in here. You can rise on this morning. You can get up out of the grave because you remember how you was down and Jesus lifted you out. When you think about what Easter Sunday morning is, what the vigil calls out before even the dawn comes the next day, is I'm so glad that I have a Savior that died for me so I can rise up and dance upon the devil. When you dance, make sure you let them know who's doing the stepping. Sometimes you be acting like he's doing the stepping for you. With God, with Christ, you can kick out all things that don't belong. I'm going to say that one more time. When you got God up in you, you can kick out everything that don't belong. And when you do that, that means you let it go and you turn your back on sin and go, I ain't coming back no more. I dare you at home to say that with me. I ain't going back no more. I don't know what I did before. I ain't going back there no more. Because my Lord has rose from the dead. So now I'm not in a grave no more. Now I'm up. Now I'm up and I can do what he asked me to do. Let this Easter vigil, oh, don't let it be some, some cute thing that you think is a, a part of the ritual of the church. Oh, it's a ritual, all right. But it's your whole life. That light is your whole life. You have been in a darkness. I know I've been in a darkness. I have found myself being ignorant on my own. Somebody, hear what I'm telling you right now. I've been ignorant on my own. And now I'm so glad that the light of Christ came and dispelled my darkness. He trying to let me know, Sydney. I did not do this for you to do it on one day. Every single day that you live, I want my light to shine in you. Yeah. I want you to rise up from your grave. Don't you dare let anybody put you down. Don't let anybody try to dictate you. I'm going to be the first one in the line called dictated by others. Oh, Lord. I'm talking to somebody. I've let other people dictate me. I let other people, what they say, dictate what I do. I let other people's mentality, I let other people's uh, attitudes dictate my whole day. Somebody here has seen that. Your whole day got destroyed because of somebody else's attitude and their bad attitude and what they doing. And I let them dictate the joy that God had already put up in my heart. I'm not going back there no more. I ain't let nobody else tell me where my day is going because my day is already being established by Christ Jesus himself. Because of him, everything else is all right. Brothers and sisters, there was an opportunity, and I hope you hear what I'm saying because this is, this is true. I can't make this up. I was sitting in my home over here at 436 Pine Street and I was ravaged by a bad nightmare. It was demons and they was making me so fearful. Anybody here ever had that? You had a bad dream and demons look like they just trying to scare you. And I was all, I was like, ho, oh, oh. ho, it was so vivid, it was so real. 
And I'm like, Lord, what is going on? And I felt, I felt afraid. And, and it, was, it felt so ugly. I couldn't see his face, but I felt the presence of that which is not of God. Church, do you know that not too long ago from now, and I'm not afraid to say that at the time of this videoing, because I know you like, Father, it's, it's Easter Vigil. I'm just, I'm just gotta, I gotta be real with you up in here. I had an encounter where somebody was going through something. There was a young lady she had called, and her family's like, we gotta pray about it because it looked like the devil is trying to put stuff up in her head. He looked like he's trying to tell her that he is possessing her. He's taking her over. And church, I heard on the phone, and I prayed. I said, Lord, what am I going to do? I'm not an exorcist. I don't know how to deal with things that are supernatural. Church, I don't, I don't think you hear what I'm saying to you. Do you know that I got on the phone with her and her family? Do you know when I started to talk with her, the Holy Spirit was like, calm down, calm down. Because they knew I was just like, I don't know what I'm going to say. I don't know how to do this. I don't know what's going on. And then I called upon that of the Blessed Mother. I'm going to tell the world through this video. I called upon the Mother of God. And I told this young woman on the phone, I said, honey, I'm no exorcist, but I'm going to say this to you right now. In the name of Jesus, I'm going to ask the Blessed Mother to come down here in her powerful intercession and cast away whatever is in you, about you, and around you. She told unto me, that's all right, Father. That's all right now. Pray, let's praise God. Church, we started praying. I don't know what happened by the end of the prayer. All I know is tears were all flowing down my face. I don't know what had transpired. But all I know is I couldn't get out of my chair of my office. Because the Holy Ghost had grabbed me so much, I almost started running through the parish office. I, because the Holy Spirit was like, hey, guess what? This is real. It is now Good Friday. And guess what? I'm not playing with nobody. I grabbed my Bible and I held it. I said, Lord, your word, your word is not just on pages. It's real. It's alive. You just try to let me know before I would come before them for Easter Vigil that you are the victory. You have kicked the devil out. And this woman is a prime example that once there was a fear that she was being dominated and we left the phone praising the Lord God. We were just praying. We were praying. I don't even know what. Was. I just know I started. I just started praising his name. And thereby, I'm saying with you, the Easter Vigil is a moment for you and I to make a declaration. You may not see a demon, but you're fighting evil. You may not feel anybody got their heads twisted, but you're fighting a battle. You may not think that your baptism meant anything. But I'm here to tell you that once you were baptized into Christ Jesus, you are now on a team that roots you in the book of life. That means that you must do your job from baptism until when he calls you home. Your Easter vigil, my Easter vigil, is to renew that Christ has given the victory not only 2,000 years ago, but I got to keep rising from my grave. I got to keep getting up rather than get lazy. I know there's a couple of lazy people. I ain't the only lazy people around here. Lord have mercy. Even COVID got me lazy. I never watched so much Netflix and Disney Plus. <laughs> I, I memorized the Mandalorian series. The devil would love me, right, to just simply sit on my behind, that's right, I said my behind, and not do anything. That's called being in the crypt of laziness. And one day, the Holy Ghost said, excuse me, but Netflix ain't going to bring nobody to Jesus. You've got to get up off of your chair, call somebody, 
You got to get up out of your out of your your laziness and rise up and go. It's time to save some souls through my power. Yes. And I was like, I know. I know Jesus, but everybody at home, nobody won't go nowhere. He's like, I didn't ask you that. I said, do what I asked you to do. All right. Stop acting like somebody got to be all up in your face to say, to, no, you just got to go reach out to people. I'm like, whoa, I get it. You're trying to tell me if you ain't careful, you'll be in that grave of laziness for a long time. Yes. Get up. Rise up. I'm talking to somebody in here. Yes. Get up out of whatever grave you got. Tell all that which was of you goodbye because now I have a new life in him. Yeah. And with it, people will not like you. I'm just giving you a preview. People will trip. People will look at you like, excuse me, but what's up with you? Anybody here that will be baptized in any church in this United States in the world? As soon as you're baptized, the devil will come to your door and be like, hey, what's up? And they will come in the form of folks you don't know. And then somebody here know he'll come in the form of people that you do know. Yes. He will use people that you think, oh, yeah, I thought you was on my side. Well, yeah, Peter's. Peter talk a good game too. I was a Peter, Lord have mercy. Some days I'm a Peter and a Judas. I got to be careful because the Lord God and his grace and his mercy, I go only by how far his grace brings me. Yeah. I pray you and I will reject any betrayal, any Judas, any, any Peter within us. So like Peter, we renew ourselves and come back. Brothers and sisters, as we continue with this beautiful and holy, holy vigil. Let's ask the Lord to keep us in an Easter mindset long after the Easter bells have rung. Let us keep our hearts and minds focused on him that did the rising and now it's our turn to rise in him. I say to Joshua, I say to Joseph who's here, that you and all throughout the world who are to be baptized into Christ, you, you, you represent the place where all of us have not only have been, but we keep going back to our baptism. That's why I can't wait till when we pour the, we have the holy water and we can dip in, reminding us that we are baptized in Christ. Let this be our prayer right now as we move forward with now this beautiful time, this beautiful part, which is the sacraments of initiation. But before we move to there, the church calls us to now look upon a wonderful, wonderful occasion. And that occasion is to remind us that as we invoke upon this fount, this grace of God that we will bless, we want to first ask for the saints. Come on, somebody. We want the saints to come on down here and be with us. And so now the choir will lead us, and we invite you at home to join in this litany of the saints, asking the saints to join us in this baptismal fount and renewal. Saint Michael, we pray, O Lord. Saint John the Baptist, we pray, O Lord. Saint Joseph, we pray, O Lord. Saint Peter and Paul, we pray, O Lord. Saint Andrew, we pray, O Lord. Mary, Mother of God, follow me, O Lord. Mary Magdalene, we we pray, O oh Lord. Saint John, we pray, O oh Lord. Saint Lawrence, we pray, O oh Lord. Perpetua and Felicity, we pray, O oh Lord. Saint Agnes, we pray, O oh Lord. Saint Gregory, we pray, O oh Lord. Saint Athanasius, 
Saint Basil, we pray, O Lord. Saint Benedict, we pray, O Lord. Saint Francis and Dominic, we pray, O Lord. Saint Francis Xavier, we pray, O Lord. Catherine of Siena, that we might be more holy this we ask you hear our prayer that we might be like jesus this we ask you amen everybody say amen everybody say amen come on and say amen 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 come on and sing it amen Can you hear me? Oh, yes. Thank you, Lord. We ask a blessing upon this fount. And three times we will dip this Paschal candle, which symbolizes the fact that the Easter light of Christ now blesses all waters. And so we pray, may the power of the Holy Spirit, oh Lord, we pray, come down through your Son into the fullness of this fount, so that all who have been buried with Christ in baptism into death may rise again to life with him who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever, and let the church say amen. amen. Let the church say amen. amen. And let the church say amen again. Amen. Now you may place the Paschal candle back. And now I call forward Mr. Joshua Adams to come stand here. And for his twin brother, Joseph Adams, to come stand here. And for their sponsor, their godparent, Miss Liz Johnson, to stand here. And now, brothers and sisters, for those of you who are at home, and for us who stand here, I ask you please to make sure that you say I do if this applies to you. And make sure you say it like you mean it. Do you renounce Satan? The answer would be I do. I got to make sure I hear you. Do you renounce Satan? I do. And all his works. And all his empty promises. I do. Do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. This is our faith. The faith of the church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. And let all say, Amen. Amen. And so, 
I invite first for Joshua to come forward. Come stand here. And I want to ask you, Miss Johnson, is it your will that Joshua be baptized in the faith that we just professed? And now I'm asking you to put your head like that. There you go. Now, there you go. Okay, why don't you take two steps over? There you go. Joshua, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and let the church say what? Amen. Amen. All right, here's your towel. All right, congratulations right there. And now I call for Joseph. Miss Johnson, I ask you again, as the godparent of this young man, Joseph Adams, is it your will that he be baptized in the faith that we just profess? And now turn your head. My dear brother Joseph, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Somebody say amen at home. Amen, amen, amen. And now, at home, I dare you to clap your hands with me as we praise God as, as Joseph and Joshua have been baptized. You must come to your place there. Right, right. You can take it off your head. And now, we will have what's called the anointing. This anointing is given on the crown of your head because it is from the top down that God's got you. And that this anointing is to represent that anointing came to kings and prophets and priests. You have been anointed now to be both priest, prophet, and king. To go forward, not to just rule people. No, to serve. Because they say, when you serve, you are the greatest. And so now, with this sacred chrism, I invite you now, Joshua, to come forward. To be. And now, to anoint you with this chrism. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ has freed you from sin, given you a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and joined you to his people. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation, so that you may remain as a member of Christ, priest, prophet, and king, until eternal life, and let all say, Amen. And now I call forth jo Joseph. Almighty God, the Father, our Lord Jesus Christ has freed you from sin and given you new birth by water and the Spirit and joined you to his people. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation so that you may remain members of Christ as priest, prophet, and king. Amen. Let the church say amen. Amen. And now, because you've been anointed, you now will be presented with this white garment. And I invite you both to please step forward. Joshua and Joseph, you'll become a new creation. And close yourselves in Christ. May this white garment be that which is assigned to you of your Christian dignity that with your family and your friends to help you by word and example bring it unstained into eternal life amen and now we have the lighting of the candle. And we invite the altar server to please go to the Paschal candle and light two of those. And while she goes, 
won't we join with the choir sing take me to the water come on somebody sing it take me to the water come on take me to the water take me to the water None but the righteous. 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 Shall see God. Shall see God. And now I invite Miss Johnson to come forward. And I ask you to receive the light of Christ for both Joshua and Joseph. As you, as a God parent, this light has been entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly so that these, now your children, enlightened by Christ, may always walk. As children of the light, and persevering in the faith, may run to meet the Lord when He comes with all the saints in the heavenly court, and let all say, Amen. Amen. And now you may give the light to them. And now, as we conclude this part of the baptism, let us pray. Dear Lord, May you who by water and the Holy Spirit given them now these two new birth into eternal life bless them here present that always and everywhere they may be active members of his people and may be bestow his peace on all who are here in Jesus Christ our Lord and let all say amen. 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 And now we've come to the moment of confirmation a sacrament of the church that calls for the Holy Spirit come down and dwell over you not just at this moment but every moment of your life to give you all of the gifts the gifts of seven that we know so well it's with those gifts that Jesus himself when he was baptized he came up out of the water and the spirit descended upon them knowing that baptism and 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 the sacrament confirmation are all woven into one I now am going to lay my hands upon you it's the sacred and ancient practice of the laying on of hands that symbolizes and, and the sign that the Spirit of God to come upon you. And so with this laying on of hands, and now, we pray. O powerful God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, by water and the Holy Spirit, you freed indeed these brothers from that of any sins. Give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of right judgment and courage, the spirit of knowledge and reverence. Fill them with the spirit of wonder and awe in your presence. We ask all this in the name of Christ Jesus the Lord, and may all say, Amen. And now with the sacred chrism. When I say be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit, you are simply going to say amen. And then I'm going to say peace be with you. And you say and with your spirit. Joshua, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Ah. Joseph, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Ah.
in you being now confirmed and sealed with that gift of the Holy Spirit. We give you of this crucifix that you, knowing that Christ crucified is never one that you shun, but you always rejoice in the victory of him over death. That you may wear this proudly as a sacramental, as a reminder of who you are. You're silly. And so, now, let us pray. Holy Spirit, we ask you please that with the sealing of these individuals in you, the sealing, the covering, the keeping them away from anything that's not of you, may they live that sealing of you, that keeping them closed off from anything that it's not of you, Lord. And they may live it in all they say and do. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, let the church say, Amen. 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 We invite you, of course, at home to put your online giving or come by the church. But make sure that your giving comes of your heart. We thank you for all that you have done in this COVID time. But let us now join with the choir as we prepare our holy altar for our gifts to be presented.
Amen, somebody. It is good news that we celebrate today. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. And so we pray, accept, we ask, O Lord, the prayers of your people, the sacrificial offerings that what has begun in the Paschal Mysteries may, by the working of your power, bring us to the healing of eternity through Christ our Lord, and let the church say, Amen. And now, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this night, above all, to loud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exalts in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim and as we sing. Holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, 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 Hosanna. That's right. Hosanna, 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 Hosanna in the indeed holy O Lord and all you have created rightly gives you praise for through your son our Lord Jesus Christ by the power and working of the Holy Spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore O Lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit Graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration. That they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing. Broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he said the blessing. And gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For well, this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, Lord, as we 
celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your son, his wonders, resurrection, and ascension into heaven as we look forward to his second coming. We offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself so that the body and blood of your son and filled with this Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, our beloved patron, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Gregory, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you in your compassion, O merciful Father. Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, we pause and remember all those who are of our family trees, those of St. Joseph, the worker community, of anyone who is looking here upon this Mass, participating in this beautiful Easter vigil. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 Amen. And now let us stand together. For those of you at home as you stand, united with us, with all of the world, saying that great prayer, singing it, of the prayer the Lord gave us. Our Father, our Father, who art in heaven, who art in heaven, hallowed be, hallowed be, thy name, thy name, thy kingdom come, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day. Give us this day our daily bread. Our daily bread. And forgive our debt. And forgive our debt. As we forgive those. As we forgive those who trespass against us. Who trespass against us. And lead us not. And lead us not into temptation. Into temptation. Deliver us. But deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
for the kingdom, for the kingdom, and the power, and the power, and the glory, and the glory, are yours, are yours, for now and forever. Christ who said to your apostles peace I leave you my peace I give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit and now let us offer wherever we're standing somebody near us and you may give them the elder kiss of peace but you may give them a sign of the peace of Christ Amen. Amen. Peace, peace, peace. And now, as we like to say here at St. Joseph the Worker, the peace of Christ that you've given unto another is our question, that peace that he gives. But now let us come humbly before him. Lamb of God. The sins of the world have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Now at this time, I like to say to both Joshua and to Joseph that we have come to a moment for you to receive Jesus, the one who has been yearning for you, who not only died upon the cross, but he made sure to institute, as we said, Holy Thursday, that meal but that bond, that communion. And so in a very special and beautiful way, as you come to receive him for the first time, we all join with you in remembering each of our own first Holy Communion. It is a moment that we pray you will never forget and that each time you come to receive him, that you will understand that bond is worth dying for. And so I say to you and I say to all that join here with us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
And now, I invite for Joshua to come forward to receive communion for the first time. And may his sponsor, Ms. Liz, to stand Joshua, the body of Christ. And now I call forth Joseph. Joseph, the body of Christ. Amen. Amen. And now you may be seated. As we have taken a time to think about the meaning of our coming to Christ and Holy Communion and our own baptism as we have watched Joseph and Joshua to receive their sacraments of initiation, let us look upon this night as one full of grace. And let us pray. Pour out on us, O oh Lord, the spirit of your love. And in your kindness, make those you have nourished by this Paschal Sacrament, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. And let the church say, Amen. As we close before the final solemn blessing, we would like to certainly give a praise to God for both Joseph and Joshua as they have come to the Lord tonight, as they have celebrated their coming to that of the church. Yeah. We also want to give a very special thanks to all who were a part of this beautiful Easter vigil. We certainly thank our lector, uh, Miss Kat did awesome. Thank you. I don't know, am I allowed to call you Miss Kat? Okay, <laughs> she said, you can call me anything. And we want to thank for our altar servants who were here tonight, Miss Judy and Miss Carolyn. Thank you. And of course, we want to thank those of our RCIA team, represented by Miss Liz Johnson, for all the work that they do all year long. They don't stop, it keeps going well after. So, thank you, Miss Liz, for. For you and your team, can you convey to them, please? We said, thank you, thank you, thank you. We want to thank God for our music ministry, led by Henry Bishop Washington, amen, and all of those who, our musicians, Joffrey and Emmanuel, let's give a praise to God for them. And of course, we want to thank the choir, and as you may have been following, right, that Henry... Uh, is to celebrate his birthday and so we just want to say happy birthday Henry happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy and and you know wherever your party is wherever it is on bourbon or anywhere I'm coming yeah <laughs> whatever the day happens I'm okay anyway you know he said don't worry about it father so we want to say happy birthday you look better than other Henry you yeah. do <laughs> And it's a very confident young man. I love it. We want to ask you now to please, as the music ministry continues, for your head to be bowed for the solemn blessing that can only given on this Easter vigil. And please, I invite you to say amen after each part. May Almighty God bless you through today's Easter solemnity. And in his compassion defend you from every assault of sin. Let the church say... And may he who restores you to eternal life and the resurrection of his only begotten endow you with the prize of immortality. Let the church say, Amen. Now that the days of the Lord's passion have drawn to a close, may you who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast 
Come with Christ's help and exalting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Let the church say, Amen. And may Almighty God, the blessing of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Let the church say, Amen. Let us go forth, the masses end it. Hallelujah. 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 Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Come on. I know you can stamp your feet at home. If you're happy on an Easter vigil, I dare you to sing with us. If you're happy and you know it, say amen, say amen. If you're happy and you know it, say amen. Say amen If the Spirit Makes you shout Hallelujah If you're happy And you know it Come on If you're happy And you know it Come on Say amen For if you're happy and you know it, amen, amen, if the Spirit makes you shout hallelujah, if you're happy and you know it, You're happy and you know it, then your life will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, then your life will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, then your life will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, then your life will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, then your life will surely show it. If you're happy and